I was late. So let's see what we get done. And if anyone comes at 10. We're screwed. Hello. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. <coughs> Last few coughs out. Welcome to the Sun Dragon Side Show. The Adventures of Liz and Rebecca. Hello. I'm so not ready. And I was running late again today. Shocker. Okay. Try to answer emails and such. And hello to new possible subscribers because I self advocated on knit and chat. Hi, I'm Rebecca. <laughs> I'm the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in uh, sunny and clear, and we'll see how warm it gets today, Brevard, North Carolina. Liz, I'm the minion there. Yes. Uh, it's going to get into the low 60s, uh -huh. which means nothing <laughs> for the patio because no. we lose sun like halfway through the morning. Noon, noon 30. Yeah. And, Although, ooh, yeah, you finish. So. And then if there is even the slightest breeze in the real world, it's almost gale force winds on the patio. Yeah. And Saturday, we were all tunnel. bundled up in winter. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was only like, what, in the 40s? Yeah. It wasn't no, like it was super cold. Okay. Like, it was in the 50s. Let me, uh, that that's, makes it even better. We were in like winter coats and... um cut like one row done on this i shouldn't have taken it off the stitch holder because i want to put it back on for y'all we were in winter coats and hats and fingerless mittens which should make it possible to knit but it's still a challenge it's still awkward so that was funny that was absolutely funny we, but, the next time ooh, we do that ooh. we need a picture like i know <laughs> we need to document social we media were all wearing our, our masks happen. outside because it was warmer <laughs> oh my, it was it kept our faces warm um yeah usually we take them off outside to be like civil and look like humans and stuff and we we're like no it's too cold uh, <laughs> so um i want to try this back on for y'all because i finished a sleeve but um the heat is working in my house we got it working on sunday i'm super excited that means that like my toes are warm right now it's crazy okay it's you know I don't even know. I was actually too hot last night. I woke up in the middle of the night and because I, I need to start actually lowering the temperature at night to sleep well, right? But I haven't been because it's just been freezing in my house. So now I actually have to, you know, self-regulate the temperature in my house I, finally. Sunday during afternoon sit and stitch because Mount Doom was on in mm -hmm. the living room and we have curtains that keep the back half of the house cool so we can sleep at night. And I had to go out a couple of times and warm up my toes in the sun because <laughs> it was a well, little luckily, chilly. Luckily, that can coincide with the three to five with the smoke yes. break for you. So, yes. you know, um, yes, we had our virtual, our November virtual sit and stitch on um, on Sunday. And that's always the, the monthly one on Sundays is always, it was once a month on Facebook Live and Zoom. And then our evening sit and stitches, there's one tonight. So to get some schedule stuff out of the way, since I got in late and, and, you know, I had too much to do this morning. Um, when has that ever happened before? <laughs> I'm so actually, not a thing. see the thing is I'm actually doing work for the shop from home. So it's not like I, I'm just like, I couldn't get out of bed this morning. So this is just too much to do. That was my problem. <laughs> well, <laughs> we were texting, face, right? While I was laying in yeah. bed and it was like, oh, I guess it's time for me to throw the covers back. And, well, you, you know. still get here long before me. So um, anyway, but we had our virtual sit and stitch yesterday from one to five. And I know at least a couple of people were like, did it happen? Because usually I do all these social media posts at a time, or at least one. And we were trying to get my, my heat jump started. So, uh, and we had to look up the manual for the thermostat on my computer and so it was just there was no time to say hey the the event's happening we so if i say it's happening and i've i've mentioned it on here and things like that assume it's happening and come check in because i can't always the day of say by the way i always feel like on the on the day of i say it too late anyway it's just like someone might notice it like right after the event so anyway Tonight, we have virtual sit and stitch on Zoom. Anywhere you are, you can join us from 7 to 9 p.m. 
um, on Zoom with the shop phone number. 828-877-3550. Yes. And uh, we have a good crowd that comes and it ebbs and flows. And sometimes there's different people, but I think it's always fun. It's tonight and it's also Friday night. And um, again, while I'm getting this, I think I have enough of this on stitch, on stitch holder now. Um, the, let's see, tomorrow <coughs> to go through our schedule, right? that some of you know by heart and others of you, this is new. Tomorrow is the VSC or the virtual shopping channel. And that is where we tell you what is gonna be on sale for 15% off. Um, my birthday sale just ended. So now you actually have to wait for the notion of the week, product of the week. Um, that's the thing, code product of the week with spaces online saves you 15% only on certain things that we talk about on Wednesdays. And right now it's ultra alpaca which I wanna use for the cover thing of Pom Pom is on sale for one more day for 15% off. Um, what is it? Oh, our little faux leather label tags things. I don't have them here and yeah, our note cards. I think back. I cleaned everything up. We both cleaned yeah, everything yeah. up and so they're not here, but you can check those out in our online shop. So, um, and then Thursday, we usually do a Dear Becky and Lizzie and this week might be a little wonky. Um, and that's where we do like an advice column. You write to us either emailing Liz at sundragonartandfiber.com or sending us a letter at 35 South Broad Street, Brevard, North Carolina, 28712. I have an eye doctor appointment on Thursday morning. We filmed before the shop opens. So we are either going to film later in the week or we might have to take a week off. The horror. Yeah, I hope you all will survive. I think you will. But we're giving you a heads up now that if you don't see anything Thursday or Friday, we are not dead. <laughs> I had a doctor's appointment, which is important to, for my vision. Just I, I have bad vision and probably need a new prescription and haven't gone to the doctor in years. So we're going to figure that out. Okay. Needs a new contacts. Yeah. I still have some left from, from, you know, well, that's, that's I'm not about to run out, but for the good of everybody, I should go have my eyes checked out. And then, you know, if I need a new prescription, I can order them in the new prescription. Maybe I'll even get new glasses and then I could wear them in someday so you could see. And I could see what everyone else goes through when they try to wear glasses and a mask. It's we exciting. Should. Yeah. Ooh, I see it all the time, all the fogging and the things and the, and maybe I should just walk a mile in their shoes. Liz is, Liz is going to enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, so let's get to what did you do this weekend, Liz? Um, well, I started a new project because you know I was almost out. Because I can't. So Liz will start it for. I I, I I bought the yarn and I'm not then supposed to. I was like, okay, I've got to finish this papillon, which by the way isn't. Um, she got really close got though. Really She's close. really close, and I'm glad she didn't stay up all night to do it because then I would have to so be more tempted, than then, normal today. Like all of me was like, uh -huh. "There's no way this is going to happen." So um, rest is important. Before before while you're holding your bag, we got the new um, oh, cocoa oh, knit uh, craft caddy. Craft they are caddy. called handles come separately Hand, you have to attach the handles and that might seem obnoxious but it's actually kind of cool in terms of um you can buy the these leather handles they come with a little thing on the inside to like brace it and and the little leather ties you could put them you were saying liz you could put them on like a knit thing yes you can you buy could just use, the handles and put them yeah, that's kind of you cool. could um if you didn't want to tie your leather handles onto a knit or crocheted project you could use yarn or thread or yeah whatever. well They're, the holes are punched i i on a whim got these in because someone said they were cool and i was like i don't know because you know these the the bottom part which is like super durable paper actually because cocoa knits likes eco sustainable stuff it's like um, $29.95, I think we have them for. And then the handles are $19.95. Um, it comes in olive, which is that. This is like me introducing myself as Liz last week. This has happened before. I did that. I, I said to a customer, hi, I'm Liz. And, and I was like, wait, no. I think it's because we call it the adventures of Liz and Rebecca. I don't know. I just pointed in the wrong direction. The words coming out of my mouth. This is the gray one, and that is the olive one. And they actually are the same size. It almost looks like yours is smaller because you washed it. 
It, it's not. Hold on. It's 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 crumpled. nope. They're the same size. They're the it's just crumpled. The same size. But that's they actually recommend that if you want it to have that distressed leather look, which is really really in right now, you wash the. the that's the cool thing about the bag. The bag is washable. The handles are not. You take the handles off and you wash the bag. And they actually did they what they said on the label, right? Uh, to yeah, like crumple it. To crumple it. So um, so in just to show you how much it holds, Rebecca posted pictures. My start of a sweater. Uh-huh. Super bulky. Super like, bulky. The whole sweater. back is done. It is a cropped, but another it is... ball and a half of yarn. Uh-huh. Another little ball of yarn. There's all these pockets. It is so cool. Yeah. Well, and see, this is what I had posted online is that um <laughs> Like it's a medium sized project bag and the shape of it just means you can stick so much in. Like mine, I can hold it and carry it with my entire Jupiter crop, which is done except for the bottom of the torso. And then um, the yarn I'm knitting with and the leftover yarn, which is like almost a full skein of purple, the rem remnants of, so more than a full skein of the purple and these three skeins of Patagonia are still pretty full. This one, not so much so, but like, look, they all jam in there. And there's room at top for my whole, like you can't zip it shut, but in some ways that's a plus cause you're not zip, you're not catching it yeah, on a, your net project. Stuff. And like, look at that. So if you want it to look distressed or crumply or whatever. Um, and I just, I just put the handles on and I'm using it. I haven't done anything to it. It says to look how big uh, that is though. You can chuck it in your washing machine on delicate or gentle. <laughs> and I didn't even put soap in there. I just you threw just... it in and hit play. Um, <laughs> your, your knots, some of your knots are nice and tight and mine need to be retight. Uh, yeah. Just little square knots. And then when it comes out of the washer, you crumble it. And I find that actually you get more distressed look when you crumple it when it's more dry than then um, oh that's cool I mean I could probably crumple it right now and do but yeah. it would it I I bet it's but it, it's, a, it's, a, it's little a little softer, softer but not much not much it's still paper I like you know, you know they also say you can buy just the caddy part without the handles and use it as a storage bin again all the pockets there are let's see. There's one big flat pocket back here. I could see putting my pockets my, everywhere my, um, pattern back there. There's two flat pockets on the front. There are two little pockets like where my hands are on each side. And there's three pot. Well, there's two pockets on one side that kind of fold out a little on this side. And there's three on the other side. So like places to keep scissors and, and, and needles yep. and I mean, organization out the wazoo. Out the wazoo. No zippers, no snaps, nope. nothing like that. Like organized, but don't, if you turn it over, everything falls out. But don't turn it over, you know? Like I've got I've got the packages for my needles right here. It's fun. I'm actually very happy I brought them in. We've already sold a few. We're probably gonna, I'm probably gonna have to order more. They're awesome. Yeah. Um, but your project. My project. What'd you do this weekend? I started another um the cable hold it up so people can see the cropped fisherman's and it's really sweater. dark i might try to lighten the, the video a little when i edit before posting oh. it but um chunky cables all in the middle there it's awesome it's actually a beautiful like tealy green like green it's yeah. green green almost an tealy. emerald green yeah i knew there was a better word for it and i have already split for the fronts mm -hmm. so i started that you're using um wool addicts fire wool addicts fire which yep. is a light super bulky <coughs> um it, it's it's lovely and squishy and and amazing and kind of a, on the more expensive side for stuff we have in the shop but it's but super it's wash it. as opposed and it's to also super wash, yes. yeah like mm -hmm. 98 percent of our super bulky is not mm -hmm. we have two that are so this is one that is and then and then we have encore and then we have and like everything so yeah and but then that's got acrylic. i'm in between works for some things not for others. in between rows so much green liz this is green too i know and blue but this is one of your christmas papillons this is, right this is makaya's christmas papillon so i've got the pods row done because you you finished one right I, I finished mary's and we held that up on we held thursday that up i think tuesday last tuesday because i finished it monday night oh yeah i knew we held it up one day last week and i was hoping to be done with this one today 
and well yesterday and i have um two no you did pods um i have two uh uh, five and six row which is go over an increase and then go back across and then because i'm doing the moth version (laughs) i have to go over an increase uh to 837 stitches Ah. and then increase to 1025 stitches (laughs) and then i get to bind yes and if you're doing just regular papillon like your first time out you don't have to do that it does look pretty I have done them with every one of my papillons except one. Yeah. If you and I whine and complain about it the entire time. But she loves that one. But it's the one I do. Mm-hmm. So and if you had stayed up to do that last night, you wouldn't have slept at all. I no. 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 I and stayed up till nine thirty doing the pod throw. How fortunate that I did a tips and tricks yesterday on taking your time and not rushing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch those because oh, she's awesome. Cause, cause you're what you jelly of my other channel. What? No. Um, but it looks so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Things will get done when they're supposed to get done or when they get done. And I'll I mean, hold it up on Thursday or next week. Yeah. For, to see the whole, the whole thing. Next week I could um, have two done. That would be awesome. And your other two are good chunk of the way done. So they're, it's not like you're starting on scratch on your other two. No, right? the other two, um, I am done to the end of big section two mm-hmm. um which is there's three that middle chunks. section yeah i'm finished all the way down to that and so all i really have left are the really really long really parts. really really long rows <laughs> in the bind off and um uh, but oh it's taking just about a week depending on how much knitting i get done at the shop so mm-hmm. yeah and, and that's the catch 22 because getting knitting done at the shop means we're not busy and that's good for getting knitting done but it's not good for the health of the shop and so if we don't get a lot of knitting done it means the shop is hopefully doing well but but we're not getting our knitting done so the struggle is real so real you know (laughs) oh speaking of so so i showed off a shawl um it was i was planning on putting in the newsletter and i did um my weekly e-newsletter that goes out and I was showing it off on sit and stitch and as, as kind of an alternative to the Papillon, Papillon's lovely, but this was a more basic garter um, triangle shawl. Although we've realized it's not just garter, like there's, it's called echo point and there's paying attention to like half knitting the row and half purling the row and flipping back and forth and like basic there's stitches. Textures. Yeah. Basic, basic stitches, but some texture to it. And I haven't done a symmetrical triangle shawl in forever. And people all went, ooh, that's cool. Ooh, that's, and see, everyone was putting it in their favorites. And we said, what if we do a knit along? It, it, I've never done one, like as organized by the shop, right? On Tuesday or on Friday night, it was a free pattern. It it's not well- a free, no, it was only a free pattern for one day. Oh. No, 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 no. I'm thinking of another pattern. Nix that. Another pattern I published in my newsletter was free for one the day it released, and now it's not. This is a free pattern. Yes. It's not free if you buy her whole booklet of patterns, her ebook of patterns. Okay. It's $18 for, the, for the, the bundle of patterns, but the pattern by itself is free. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm being very confusing today. I'm just putting a lot of pressure on myself since I came in late. Oh, so so I, I just stuck it in my library. Like hmm because yeah you can do that we when have nope. ideas yeah because um i'm trying to it's it calls for like five colors of dk weight yarn i think it's um and this is you're not going to see a whole lot of detail on your thing but um i think it's it's a liz size shawl potentially worsted weight will get it there yeah well if you want to make it with bigger yarn and bigger needles i just don't know if you're going to run out that's all but like that just looks big that's it what does. i mean it, it you know it's going to be bigger than the papillon the regular size papillon and it's getting the hang of doing increases i think doing increases edges and middle without the fanciness of the papillon so like if you're working up to a papillon you should do this knit along with us what we're planning right now and we're still developing this because we only started talking about it on sunday is um 
we all have so much to do before Christmas that we're not planning on starting it before Christmas. Um, so in the new year, which actually gives us all time to plot and plan and find our yarn. And maybe like I've already said on the newsletter, Liz and I will try to come up with kits. We have to figure out when, but we'll try. Um, we could have kits ready before Christmas. We might have them ready in the new year for people. But if you want to start knitting in the new year, you don't have to wait for us to make kits. You can find your yarn. We, we would love for you to find your yarn with us. Um, Amy D is already planning on making it out of a spunky sheep combo pack that we only have a couple left of. They're, they're for sport weight. This is DK weight, almost the same. Um, and she's just going to find a fifth color to go with it. So um, I think it'd be fun because it's not super complicated. It could be a, a step up for a beginner, but still fun. And it could be just a fun, like calming you down knit on the side for more advanced knitters as something. I haven't figured out how we're going to structure it because I'm the kind of person I always say I, I hate having homework. <laughs> I think it's just going to be we're going to start it and just see how people are doing. Not to say you need to go this fast or this slow, because again, my yeah, yeah. My, tu my tutorial channel just had something about, we are all faster or slower than somebody else. It's not a competition. And I said, full disclosure, I'm not good at that. <laughs> but it's, it's a goal. It's, it's an ambition to, to let go of comparing yourself to others and saying, you know what? I knit how I knit. And, and I kept coming back to the tagline of, like people come in for lessons and, and they, they rush to try to maximize their hour or because they think I'm waiting for them. They have to get to this certain part. My, my uh, Princess Bride quote, you rush a miracle man, you get rotten miracles. Like if, if Liz had rushed to finish her papillon last night, she oh. might've messed up and had to back out or she might not have gotten any sleep and that wouldn't be fun for hey, today, you the know? And the color, since I've decided that I'm going to continue with July and mohair, I, if I start getting too fast, especially with the, the pointy she pointy of up. my needles, yeah. mm -hmm. I always lose a strand here or there. And yeah. that still bothers me because it's a present. So I'm like having to actually take my time. Take your time. What? See, that's a good thing. Mm. Um, okay. So. What did you work on this week? I made really good progress on two sweaters. <coughs> so this one, everyone's seen, I finished, hush, 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 hush. I finished uh, both sleeves on my Jupiter crop. Yay. So I just spent part of us talking in the beginning. Yeah. I mean, I've put a self-imposed deadline on myself or just said, you know, because Liz said I can start a sweater over Christmas break. Like I should wait till Christmas break. By the way, shop will be closed between Christmas Eve and it'll end up being January, I almost said July, January 4th by the time we open again because the new year falls on like a Saturday and we're closed Sunday and Monday. Um, so she said I had to wait till break. You know, I don't have to listen to her, but that's probably good advice to start another sweater. I figure the more sweaters I finish before then, the more I can start <laughs> over break. Because so. now we're talking about starting at least two sweaters. So this one is getting really close. I, I took a break from the torso and I finished both of the sleeves. And can you grab the back? The back is all curled up. Okay, that was a great face. Um, did, did you miss it? Yeah, I went. I <laughs> as you were doing that. Um, okay, so yay, look, I had to, um, I forget if I said this on the other show, if we had the sleeve done. I did um, the tubular bind off that I've been doing on all my mittens on, on both sleeves. On, on one sleeve, I did it late at night, rushing to get something done. What? And it, and, and they tell you to try to keep, it's a sewn bind off. It's a really funky sewn bind off. And when it was done, it was so loose because I wanted it loose and the, the tubular bind off makes the ribbing look really cool. Make it look like it ends in ribbing. And it was all flippy floppy. And it, it made it look like, like a flowery edge, a lacy edge. And I didn't want that, like a roughly edge. 
So I tightened it all by hand, which is figuring out where the stitches went and yanking on them. And I got like an extra yard of yarn after I tightened it up. So the other one, I just started off doing it as tight as I could, like pretty much yanking on it. And I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I think, I think it fits nice because I didn't do, she has potentially you can decrease before you do the ribbing, take like four stitches out. And I didn't do that because my upper arms are a little chonky, which meant then I, I don't mind having the end of the ribbing be a little tighter to give it a little bit of a fitted look. I like it. So yes, thank you. Um, so now I, I think I've only done like two rows on this part since y'all saw it last because I took a break. Because now I'm done with all the colors except for the purple and the pink. Again, I don't think I mentioned this is my, I might have, but I'm going to say it again. It's my Jupiter crop by Caitlin Hunter. I'm having so much fun with it. Oh my gosh. I just super excited. So, but, but um, if I ended it like now, if I went on to the end of the chart and then the ribbing, it would end like right above where my pants are. They're like right here. I don't want to poke at myself too much. So we had talked last time about how I probably need to do a good three inches more. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna be annoyed with three inches of just this pink arrow thing down here, but I don't think so. Like, I'm not gonna change the pattern no, up. It, it'll, it'll kind of be the same idea as your, is it the faucet that you did in the cotton? Yeah. Yeah, and where you just keep going with you that. just keep going. Yeah, It'll have a lot of like arrows down here. Like it's supposed to basically, it's supposed to be slim but i think the crop works on me if i make because i've made the one ranunculus right when it's open and this just hangs underneath it i think this one i'm gonna have to go a little longer so um i just have a whole lot of knitting to do on this before the rib i also could make the ribbing section at the bottom just incredibly like it's supposed to be three inches of ribbing i don't know if i want to do a lot more than three inches though so no so that's where I am on this one. I'm really excited because a week or two ago, it was like up here. It just shows if you dedicate the time to it. Again, this is not about being fast and, and buzzing through a pattern. But if you dedicate the time, I just, I have too many projects on needles and none of them make progress unless I say, you know what? I'm going to dedicate a day or two to only one project. That happened with this one and but I, to say I was thinking because you dedicated some time to this one this week and time to another one. Yeah. You could theoretically be done with two sweaters by next week. I know. It's I could so be done with two papillons and you could be done with two sweaters. I would still have a butt ton of sweaters on needles, but yes, you're right. And then I would have new sweaters to wear for y'all. And then if I still wait until Christmas to start new sweater patterns, you can I might start finish three. a shawl or two. I got to see what fits in my suitcase. We were talking about this. So here's the other kind of amazing thing um, that I got done this weekend. And then I might have an end one if there's time to, well, okay, let me show you before, because I'm getting this out to get that out. I didn't know what to do this morning for meditation. So what I did, very little, Ooh. I picked up the stitches for the other side of my quadrangle spires. This just looked like such a hot mess in my bag. Um, I just got the setup done and it's about to fall off the needle because one of these needles is too short, but it's, I don't want to cannibalize all of my inventory. Um, that's the setup to start doing the edge on this side. You do yarn overs and you pick up three stitches from each corner on this, these little triangles. And that is how the holes were made on this side of my quadrangle spires. So I just did the, the part that's hanging on the other needle is this was creating this gap over here. So I can start working on both sides at once. What? Which I think would be really cool. I haven't worked on this. I was looking through Instagram since mm -hmm. like September. I know it's been a while. It's been, some of these, some of the more intricate ones is been a while. So that's another thing. If I finish these sweaters, but don't start new ones, I can either make progress on old sweaters or old shawls. So. That was that. And Liz suggested that I take home my golden fern that I'd finished the torso on, but still I was on sleeve island because um, it's long sleeve. The color works not to the bottom. It's fingering weight. And it was just sitting like right off camera in the shop. 
for weeks for weeks if not months yeah i think it was this summer sometime that i finished the the torso so <laughs> um i set to work i was like up here on the sleeve during virtual sit and stitch and i am potentially done with this sleeve Sweet. potentially that's what i want to do before we sign off today is it's on 12 inch needles i think i can gently stick my hand through here um i so i did all the decreases you're supposed to do and then it's like knit two rows and decrease one more stitch and then it says then knit until it's 12 and a quarter inch long or five and three quarters i think inches shorter than you want your sleeve to be and i said i have short arms compared to most pattern writers arms so when i finished the decreases and everything and it said keep going until one of my measurements had it close to 12 inches already I don't know if I measured right. It might've been like 11 and something. And I said, you know what? Let me just start the color work down here. And the color work is a little bit of a hot mess here. But, um, and I was a little worried about it, but then I remembered that, and this is fingering weight on like a six. And then the color works on an eight on here and it's on a seven on the sleeve. So it's, it has the potential to be gappy. I remembered when I did the color work and I keep having to pin this, this part down because pre-blocking and maybe post-blocking, we'll see. This little one inch of, of ribbing at the bottom wants to flip up. Um, this color work was really gappy and open when I did it. And it's actually, I haven't even blocked it yet. It no, has settled over time. It has time. settled it over has, time. Everybody's fluffed it. And everybody's gone, ooh, ooh, and it's fluffed and it's yeah. filled in. So I'm not super concerned that this looks a little bit ratchet right now, in my opinion. And I also on the, it's my first time doing color work on 12 inch needles. So it, I might've pulled not left enough room for the blocking for it to really settle, but you know, we'll see. Let me, yeah, I'll try it out for y'all and we'll see. So I have to figure out, okay. These ends I haven't woven in means that's the back. So here we go, moment of truth. Cause here's the thing. The color work has this like one row of knit one purl one the, per, the the pinks are purled and one row of knit one knit one for the end of it and then when you're done with that you're just supposed to switch needles and do an i cord bind off for the sleeve so getting a lot of extra yarn here and gently easing my hand through because it's still on needles and they're very short needles it feels so weird with one sleeve. Oh, wow. I think that's, I think that's perfect. If anything, that's long, and, but that's okay. Like if I actually- Put your hand straight. That's, that's perfect. Yep. That's like a, a long cuff right there. And you know me, I'm going to push it up. Not right now because it's on the needles, but I think, um, and we'll have to see when, when I block it, I'm going to try very hard not to stretch it anymore. But- I think I, think I can do, look at that. Gorgeous. <laughs> it's roomy. Cause when I started making this, I weighed a little more, but I could go back up again and wait. I kind of am. So <laughs> I'd rather not, you know, with my hands down, you can't tell how there's a lot of positive ease in here. I think I made size five. I've been making a lot of size fives, which are right in the middle of, of everything. And um, those tend to be like the 48 to 50 inch bust. And my bust is, maybe 43 right now ish 40 you know it's in that area it fluxes depending on life and stress and and my girls are bigger than a lot of the rest of me but some of me is trying to catch up so um i'd rather have the room than not like the the jupiter if you just saw the jupiter crop on me that's much more form-fitting that's like in here right than out here you have to decide what is your personal comfort zone like this the length is decent I might even have been happier with a little bit longer, but I'm done now. And if we can get this, I can always block that a little bit too. So, but this is actually a happy length for me. I, I like I'm, it. I'm not, the Jupiter crop is not going to come this long. The Jupiter crop might come up and I'm to come to here, but since it's form fitting, it might feel different. Right. But yeah, I, that I did stay up to do this. I think I went to sleep at around 11 last night, but I was in bed before that. I try to get to bed by like 9.30 right now because I'm an old fart. Uh, I had a birthday. I'm old now. No, <laughs> um, I'm stepping on stuff. Okay, so 
this is this is exciting i like it the all over increase tops like these i find it's hard to get them perfectly settled when you have a lot of curves sometimes they settle and drape nice and sometimes they'll be puckering and there's only so much you can do with that and sometimes you just gotta live with it like the back of this might do see the back of this might have a little more of like a wrinkly, gathery wrinkly gathery thing but when it's equal on the front and the back and you have girls like mine the back is gonna hang different than the front because you know <laughs> yeah you got things filling out the front different so again just let it be and say you made a lovely sweater and if people know you handed it they will probably just be amazed right i hope yeah I, I really, really like that color. It looks really good. Isn't it fun? This is this is um, Fiber Space Vivacious Four Ply. This is the Spiced Plum is the main color. And Burnished is the contrast. And originally I was going to do the denim and the Burnished, which is a lovely color combo. But like this is just striking. This is really, really wonderful. Yeah. So I'm excited because this one also has been on needles forever. And if I can, you know, if I just spend a whole day doing nothing but knitting, I can get a sleep done. I think it took two days, really. It took Sunday, I really was only doing knitting. Monday, I do a lot of other things than knit on Mondays, but I still gave it a good few hours, like a couple of hours after dinner. So around my newsletter, which is why my newsletter, while it's chunky, I still left some stuff out. Too much going on in my life. Okay. Shocked. Okay, it is 10 o'clock, we should open. The shop um i think i already went through the schedule right mm -hmm. we um, did this morning we if there was anything else i was going to show off we'll do it another day i'm like this arm is warm and this arm is breezy what <laughs> what this arm <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days folks um it's like subscribe ring the bell all that fun stuff mm -hmm. we are up to 6 6 35 as of this morning remember if we get to 700 um we'll have another sale we had one at 600 we'll have another sale just for our youtube subscribers in our online shop or in in at in person too spoiler alert it'll be just a little bit bigger than the last one so um but it'll still be worthwhile i think so um, help us get to 700. If you haven't subscribed already, consider it. It is a free way to support us and the work we do. If you would like to financially support us, you can buy yarn from us, obviously, and notions and like craft caddies and fun things. Yay. Or you can go over to patreon.com slash sundragon. If you have a stash, like most people who come in our shop and say they have a huge stash, you can always support the work we do with a low monthly uh, subscription still getting used to like even advocating for that i'm like yeah but it's very helpful and um whatever you can do it's not like well you didn't give us any money so go away no we love everybody we love the people who just want to come look around you know because hopefully someday they will be they will be active participants in the sun dragon community and you are now that you're watching so and a lot of you have been watching for a long time so thank you and I'm going to stop being an infomercial now and <laughs> go open the shop and come to sit and stitch tonight if you can yeah. on Zoom and meet the other Sun Dragonites, the Sun Dragon Vikings, as we like to call them. Um, and yeah, I'm going to finish this sleeve today, maybe. That's super exciting. And maybe I'll start this sleeve at knit night tonight because it's kind of mindless knitting, kind of. Anyway, we got to go. I'm just really bad at wrapping up. So bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. I'm going to try to have enough of this to so not a thing not unravel oh oh i got the twisty racks poking my bum uh oh hope y'all have a good day bye <laughs>